Well, Christopher, first off, heading back to New Hampshire this weekend, obviously that's where you got your first race win of the season last year. So what is it like each time you get to go back to a track that you know that you've previously won at? Yeah, Loudoun is is for some reason been a really good track for me. Uh, I don't exactly know why, other than the fact that I have really good race car race cars every time we go there. So uh, definitely is a place where I feel confident at, and uh, we actually did a test there in in April, so uh, got a little extra track time too. So definitely one that we have circled to try and get another win at. Uh, and then last year you go there, you get the win in the regular season, you come to Charlotte, you get the win in the Roval to advance in the playoffs, you go to Martinsville, you punch your ticket to the championship four. So what was that second half of the season like? And, and what did you learn from all of that in, in racing in your in your first championship race in the Cup Series? Yeah, it was it was really cool. And, and one thing that really stood out was just the way that the playoff format works. And last year wasn't the first year that I was in the playoffs. Uh, but it was the first year that I went, you know, into the final four. So um, it, it was really eye opening to see how valuable those playoff points are that you accumulate in the regular season. So last year, uh, I don't exactly remember how many playoff points we got in the regular season, but I do know that it wasn't enough. So that's been a really big focus point this year is trying to accumulate those points. And unfortunately, we haven't got uh, as many as we want. Um, but we did have a really good weekend at Chicago a couple weeks ago where we got two more. Uh, and then, you know, the, the next six races leading into the regular season uh, championship at Daytona are, are all places that we can go out and win stages and potentially win races and, and get more points. So, um, you know, it's very important to get as many points as you can, uh, because whenever you get into the playoffs, you know, one bad race and, and you're in deep trouble if you don't have enough of those points stacked up. Yeah, I feel like you gave us a, a ton of excitement in the playoffs last year, though, with with your wins and just advancing, and it was super cool to see and obviously be there um, at the Charlotte race. You mentioned those points that you accumulate throughout the regular season, and obviously the regular season is winding down. Uh, just a few spots open for guys to make their way into the playoffs. I know you're in with your, your win at, at Bristol, but how often are you guys checking those points and looking at it? And, okay, this is how many races are left. This is how many spots are open, and, and does it matter if someone – you know, too many drivers get wins and someone has to get it on point. So do you pay attention to that or, or do you just kind of go out and say, okay, I'm going to do the best I can each weekend? Yeah, it, it all depends in your, uh, what position you're in. You know, so for example, my teammate Ty Gibbs is right on the, the bubble line, right? So he's really focused on those regular season points and probably looking at it after every stage in the race of, of the guys that he's racing against, where they're at, where he's at. Uh, but for our, our position, um, it really doesn't matter how many more guys win races. And honestly, uh, the more different winners that we have at this point is probably the better for the 20 car because uh, it keeps, you know, my competitors who already have those playoff points from getting more playoff points. Um, so, you know, it, it's each driver and each team has a different agenda right now. Uh, right now, the 20 car is right in the thick of the regular season championship. So, um, you know, we're, I think we're 35 to, or 37 points out of the lead with seven races to go. Um, so it's, it's very much obtainable for us. And, and that's what we're really focused on right now. Uh, and going back to a weekend like Chicago, right? In the last few years, I think you're kind of part of this era of NASCAR where post pandemic, they're trying all kinds of different things, right? You might have a track like the Bristol dirt race, which I'm sure for you being a dirt racer is so much fun, right? You probably have a little added confidence, but when you go somewhere like Chicago, again, you had some, some success at that race, but what is it like just kind of being a part uh, of this era of NASCAR that's trying a lot of new things for you guys? Yeah, I, I'm super excited about it and, and happy with the changes that they've made. You know, I, I haven't been in the sport very long at all, but uh, I remember it was probably four or five years ago now. I, I was actually at the Charlotte airport and uh, I ran into Steve Letarte, who it does TV stuff. And uh, I was like, Steve, we need to change the schedule or we, and NASCAR needs to change the schedule because at that point I'd only been in the series, you know, two or three years or the industry, I should say for two or three years, but it was like rinse and repeat schedule. You know, we go to um, whatever it was, we go to Pocono, we go to Michigan, we go to Loudoun, we go to, whatever's next and it was just the same thing over and over and over again um and, and and steve told me that day he said you know changes are coming just wait and, and now here we are with uh seeing a ton of adversity and 
and different races, the Bristol dirt race is unheard of. Who would have thought NASCAR would be racing on dirt? And then the streets of Chicago was another thing that's unheard of, the LA Coliseum. So it's been really fun to see changes made to the NASCAR schedule. And, uh, you know, I hope that we have more, you know, I want to see tons of new venues come on and, and maybe go to racetracks once every other year. And, and I think that'll help make each event very special and uh, a, a topic of conversation. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been super neat, just like Chicago, for example, just seeing so many new fans buy tickets to their first race. And, and so really cool to see you guys introduce the sport to new audiences, depending on what new track is introduced. And and, and final question here, second year with Next Gen, do you think everyone in the sport feels more settled? Like, do you feel more settled? Is the playing field now even? How do you kind of feel about just year two with Next Gen? Well, everyone for sure has gotten a lot more comfortable with the car. You know, all the drivers, the crew chiefs, the mechanics, the pit crew guys, it just, it, it's become more normal now because we're what, 36 plus another 20, almost 55 races in um, to the next gen car. So certainly the more time that you spend with it, the more acclimated you get to it, the more normal it becomes. Um, but you know, that still catches us off guard at times. Looking at the Chicago street race, we had to run mufflers for the first time. Uh, and it added a, a completely different element to uh, driving the cars. It made the cars a lot hotter inside. So, you know, there, it, it's definitely ever changing and, and, you know, the teams are still learning for sure. So we're, we're still picking up on cues on the, on the setup stuff that make, can make our cars better or worse. Uh, and, and yeah, but I would say it's definitely getting more normal. All right. Well, we appreciate your time and good luck this weekend. We'll see if you can uh, repeat at a track that's been kind to you in the past. Thank you.